This lesson is about material codes and we can find them under the billing codes. We will set it up as the best practice. We will get some examples into the system. You can find them also again under admin. We we'll go to finance, accounting and invoicing and we go to the billing codes. Then we have a couple of tabs. Uh, today's lesson is about the material one where we have the material codes. As you can see in this column, system, meaning that those ones were already uh, in the system before we, uh, we added them. So those are by default already in the system. We added a couple of them uh, like shipping, uh, RMA is one that's already in there. You can turn it off. Uh, there was also labor and licensed software because we're going to use them as a quick charge. And I'm going to quickly show you uh, how. This is, for example, a one that we have in here that was onboarding a new workstation. Quickly going to show you what's in here. So it's onboarding new workstation and that's what I mentioned available as a quick charge. So you can check this box on or off. This is one that I'm going to show you how to use it on a ticket to be able to quickly add a quick charge. Um, and there's also a possibilities for you to basically change it in the, in the general ledger account. So this one is for labor because onboarding new workstation is our fixed fee. As you can see you have a unit cost. You can do it with a markup coming to the unit price or you can set it as a fixed price as well. Save. In this case, you will see that only in the quick charge column over here, there's a check mark. So only this particular item we can use as a quick charge on our ticket. Where can you exactly find it? How can you do that? Quickly already open up a ticket. There's a two sections where you can add a charge. You can have it under this tab here. But the quickest way is to do it through a charge on this way, or even press the, the shortcut Alt F4. To do the quick charge, you don't go to product because product also there's a lot of products in there. I'm going to show you later on how to do that, but that has to do, uh, you have to fill out a lot of more to stuff. But in this case, you go to the material code, and this is where you find that same one that we just had onboard a new workstation. You select the one, you save selection. You might be able to say, you know what, I'm going to add a little description, but for the rest, you can leave everything as is, and you can press save and close. Now, in this case, you have added a, a, a charge. To the ticket we can go to charges and expenses and as you can see here it will uh, it will pop up as that new charge just like we did it in the past already too and this one is now also become billable so now we have a, a default rate uh, quickly added to the system now there's another one too that's in here that's for example we use shipping so instead of using a, a product with uh, with uh, has an inventory those kind of things it's just a material code where you don't have any tracking of any inventory and this way you can keep track of it Shipping is, uh, is also a uh, default one since shipping usually varies in, in uh, cost and price. Uh, some people have a fixed price. Some people say, you know what, I'm going to just charge whatever the vendor is charging me. Then you can put it still manually in there. And you can make it available as a quick charge. And that way it's in there. And it's also good that you say, okay, this is going to be a, a different uh, ledger account. Now, it's usually a little bit an other section, but it's not a recurring service. It's not managed services. So you can put this one on, uh, on the hardware section. Make sure your text category is also set up high, depending on what you have in your system. Usually it's high. Some countries I know it's maybe even excluded. So make sure that you also apply the correct text category there. Um, we have, for example, also one that we have here that's, that's called a billing code, but it's through the system already the retainer uh, for the purchase. But we also made one for recurring revenue uh, based on the, the configuration item, it's sort of contact based, and it goes to the managed services one. And there's also one that we have to uh, use for the, for the recurring revenue based billing where we can add some stuff based on uh, amount of views that are being added or discounted, but we can easily add a, a, automatically an extra charge. I think that concludes about the setup. Remember also we have the licenses software here, the ones that you maybe saw in, in the previous list. And how to add a, uh, a charge is either way through the, the charge here on the side, but also right away here from charges and expenses, you can add here by doing a new charge. Uh, those are all the ways on how to quickly add a charge. Um, depending on the security level of your resources, you can also block out this section. So although you have it ready to be set up, maybe only your experienced engineers, technicians that can actually uh, add a charge. That's it. If you have any questions, please uh, post a comment on our Facebook group.